What's up everybody, it's me, Greg Miller from IGN.com. And if there's two things I love, it's buffalo wings and beer. But if there's two more things I love, it's my Chicago Bears and my Missouri Tigers. Now, this leads to me playing Madden and NCAA football each and every year. And as we're getting ready for the summer installments of those franchises, something struck me about last year's entries in the series. NCAA is just a way better game than Madden. It all starts with presentation. Madden begins with the home team flatly running out of the thing while the commentators robotically speak about what's happening. Happy you're joining us for this exhibition matchup. But NCAA starts with that ESPN wipe, the over-the-top instrumental music, and Brad Nestler welcoming me to another football Saturday in America. It's time for the border war. Time out. One gripe with NCAA. Any Mizzou fan worth his or her tiger tail knows that you guys have the football team running out of the tunnel and then somehow running right back towards the same tunnel in the next shot. It doesn't make any sense. How can the end also be the beginning, EA? Time in. Anyway, the presentation in NCAA feels real. It's perfectly mimicking what I watch each and every week. Meanwhile, Madden feels stiff and artificial. It's like watching what aliens think football feels like. Long, awkward pauses in the commentary. He's dropped down around the seven yard line by Jennings. The players have those dead eyes and why the f does the field goal net come out of the damn ground? Where's the thrill of the real NFL game? Where are the cameramen getting laid out by players? The pushing after the play? Where are the drunk Joe Namath sideline interviews? How would I kiss you? This isn't just a parody problem at kickoff. The chasm between how good Nestler and Herbstreet are compared to how mediocre Johnson and Collinsworth are only gets wider as you play. Punching for an extra yard on second and nine has Johnson screaming like Scott Norwood kicked wide right again. Stiff arms, and he's brought down. I mean, Herb Street and Nestler aren't perfect, but their years of experience make sure they don't have the awkward inflections of their Madden counterparts. Chicago got it. Now, I'm not as stupid as I look. I know why these presentation problems exist. NCAA is married to ESPN so EA can make the games look like they belong on that channel. Meanwhile, NFL games are popping up on multiple channels, so EA just can't pick one. They have to make Madden look like it's happening on a generic channel, which in turn makes Madden look pretty generic. Now here's the rub. Most gamers buy Madden over NCAA because they think it's less generic. College athletes can't accept money for their on-field efforts, even though universities make millions of dollars merchandising them. So the players can't have their real names in NCAA. Halfback 26 can have the look, attributes, and statistics of his real life counterpart, but sharing his name, oh that's crazy. This keeps lots of fans away. But if you ask me, it's one of the reasons NCAA is fundamentally better than Madden. In Madden, Brian Urlacher has to look like Brian Urlacher. In Clay Matthews, he has to have that really dumb flex move he does all the time, right? For every one of the 32 teams, there is something EA has to nail so as to keep those fans happy. The Madden team has to spend time on the real players, but the NCAA team, they get to spend time on everything else. That's why the grass looks better, the game plays smoother, and the presentation is off the charts. You judge Madden by the look of your favorite player. I judge NCAA by the sights, the sounds, the feel of the stadium I spent every football Saturday in for four years. Madden struggles because of that. The players aren't as fluid as the real thing, so it feels fake. Whether it's the goofy playbook I have to call up each time, or the camera panning out from the sideline, Madden is still struggling to make it feel like what's on TV. NCAA has it down to what it felt like when I was in the stands. NCAA is confident enough to let the gameplay be the opening montage, whereas Madden just uses NFL footage. And of course, the biggest deciding factor is gameplay. NCAA is faster, lighter on its feet. Madden is more slow and plodding. And NCAA is just more exciting than the NFL. One foot in bounds, a nonsensical ranking system, and then of course, drunk college co-eds in the stands. How you doing, ladies? But what do you think? Like the video and leave your vote for NCAA or Madden in the comments below. Then, for everything Buffalo Wing related, check out CJ's in Columbia, Missouri, or Pete's Tavern here in San Francisco. And for everything on the virtual gridiron, check out IGN.com. Now, who wants to make my XFL game? Nobody?